I'm going to show you how to configure your Enviro Gallery so it looks the way you want it to on your website. Here I have a new gallery and I've uploaded my images. Now I want to add information that will help my visitors understand what they're looking at in these images. So I'll click on the I for information and it takes me here. Here's the title of the file that I uploaded. So I notice I have a misspelling and I'm going to click that so that's correct. The caption text box is where I can put more information. The title displays where you hover over a picture in your gallery. For example, those are the titles of those images. The caption displays when you click on an image and then you have additional information underneath that you've entered. I'll enter my caption. The alt text up here it says it's very important for SEO which is search engine optimization. You can put a short description of your picture here. And the URL section is used if when the people click on your image you want to take them to a different website. You would put that website URL in here. And then you can decide whether you want it open in a new tab, which you probably do so that people can still access your website. Then we'll click Save Metadata. And if you look carefully, it'll say saved there for a second. You can click on the arrows and do the same thing for each item in your gallery. When you're finished, click the X. You can rearrange them if you want by clicking, dragging, and dropping. And we're done with the Images tab of our settings. So we'll go to Configuration. This is where we start playing with how we want it to look on our site. Number of gallery columns, if you click on the drop down, you have choice there. Here, if you click the drop down, you have a number of options for a theme. The base theme is just plain pictures. For example, right here, just pictures on the page. The captioned theme looks like this where you have the image file name right there under the image. The Polaroid theme is a little fun and casual, like Polaroid pictures scattered on a table. And it also has the captions right there. The Showcase theme organizes them within a gray background. The Sleek theme adds a gray border. And the Subtle theme adds a white border. I like the Polaroid theme. I think that's fun. Most of the rest of this you won't need to play with. The default settings are fine. You may have to play with the image dimensions if when you look at it, it doesn't look quite right or some of the images are cropped when you don't want them cropped. You'd only want to crop images if you want all of the openings to be the same size. For example, we have this gallery here, but we've taken those same images and cropped them so that they're all the same size. The light box is when you click on an image and it shows up bigger with the thumbnails of all the rest of the pictures in that gallery underneath. It's enabled by default and you can also change the theme of how you want your light box to look. I generally keep these the same. Sometimes I play with where the caption is positioned or where the arrows are. The only other one I use regularly is the Pinterest button and that adds the Pinterest pin it button to your images so a visitor can just click on that and put your picture on their Pinterest board. That's disabled by default. We're going to put it on there. And then we'll publish. We can cut and paste the short code here or we can click out of here. So if we go to our Enviro Gallery, oops, I forgot to put a title on it. So I'll do an edit the title up here, Recent Projects. Update again, and I'm good.